Hey guys, Patrick here, and today I want to give you guys a quick in-depth review of the Pitata watch. This is currently on Kickstarter right now, and is definitely one of the most exciting projects that I've come across. So let's take a look at the watch. I'm going to try to keep this short, and hopefully this video will give you guys um, a little bit more information about the watch and to see how it looks on the wrist and how it works in live performances and uh, to see if this watch is for you. So without further ado, let's get into it right away. So to comparison, here is the Turner watch. Now some of you guys may have already have, so the reason I brought this up so you guys can see the, the size difference. You can see that the watch face is a little bit bigger. It's actually a lot bigger. And the strap is 22 millimeters, so it is a little bit wider. So this is quite small, I think, but this, um, it looks pretty good on the wrist. You can see that's basically the size. It's definitely more on the bigger watch um, size. Okay, so you can kind of see what that looks like right there. And I think one of the most concern that may, people may have is the color, okay? So unlike most magic products on the market, we all love to go with the black and white. Um, I think Pitara went with a dark navy just to stand out a little bit and to have a little bit more, to be a little bit more elegant, you know. A lot of time when we buy products, they're not always coming black and white, but I know, you know, a lot of time as a magician, we just want black because black is safe. Now, on the picture, even for me, when I first saw it, it does look quite blue, you know, like very bright blue, but in person, it's a really dark navy blue. So here, I'll show to you up close. You can see it's not bright at all. And if you don't really look at it closely, it will look like a midnight black. So I wouldn't worry at all if you're a black and white person, this watch will look just fine. You know, it's not blue at all. And I think the reason it looks very blue is because of the studio lighting. Um, the strap is, that is included is very, very high quality. You know, like you'll be surprised this is high quality strap. So um, a lot of time, in, even with this uh, Turner watch, I have replaced it with another leather band. Another hybrid watch I have, I also purchased a really nice band to go with it, but this one is already good. Like, there's no need to replace it. Um, if you do want to change to black, I'll just show you quickly what that may look like. So, that's black, and you can see the dial still look pretty dark, um, like a dark navy. So, I really wouldn't concern at all, you know, if you really want a black wash, this one is a very dark blue, and I don't think there would be any problem with that. So. Uh, when you open the package, one thing you will notice right away is the remote. Now this is the same style remote as the Time Hacker. It's definitely one of my favorite remote on the market just because you know there's a lot of haptic feedback telling you what's happening, whether the Bluetooth is connecting, whether it's disconnecting, whether I'm pressing the first digit, second digit, or if it's sending. So you know if, if you already own this, it's very, very good. And uh, let me just show you a quick test of how fast this watch will go, so let's do, um, I'm gonna clear this out first, and let's do 8, 24, okay? So I'm gonna press send and watch. Send, boom, right there, so very quick. And there's also a locking feature as well, so once you input the time, send it to the watch, when you press something, it will just vibrate and telling you that you cannot put anything. So this is great for uh, um, a life of, live performance when there, there's chance of you hope, you know, accidentally pressing another time. So this will cut that problem out right away because there's no way. You really cannot input any time until you clear the button out and now you're ready to go and send one more time. So, you know, I'm sure you're already familiar with this. You can use USB to charge it. Very good. It's okay. So I'll turn this off for now. Um, one more question that people may have asked is um, this remote and the app can connect at the same time. Now, I think in Time Hacker, just from my experience, I was not able to connect both at the same time, so I have to choose whether I want to use app or this. Now, this one, it can connect to both, so that's great. In case somehow the remote fail, you can still use the app to change the time, so that's good to know. And uh, yeah, we're gonna dive into the application right now. The application is pretty straightforward if you're familiar with the time hacker, you can see once you open the app, you can just connect it right away. So I'm just gonna connect it and boom, connect it, okay? So now right away it shows the time 
you can see red right time right there and this and if I press here it goes to the real time and then here just like the time hacker I'm gonna put 523 send and you can see it just changes right away okay so once you set the time you can see that the time is in yellow okay so right here 523 is yellow and that means the time is frozen so that means once you set the time it will not move um, forward or backward this is great for um, prediction type effect where you want to set a time and let's say you have another two three minutes of presentation this time it will stay exactly where you set it so you don't have to worry now once I press the top one it will go back to the real time and you can see it turns green and green means that it will move just like a normal clock now what's great about this watch I think that the special feature that is very unique is the fact that the crown here you can actually spin the hand and this is something that other watch can't do and I think it really makes a big difference because you know instead of you setting up the time as a prediction like you know a lot of time when you do PK watch you have to be like okay I'm gonna think of a ton okay you talk and you just put it down and then now you do a trick and then you hopefully that um, the time is correct right because when you pick it up you have to act confident that is the right time because you know the future but I think another great presentation that you can do with this is to have the spectator do it which I think is really really great because you're not even part of the magic they did all the magic themselves you get to watch them they spin it pass to another person spin it forward and back make it as much as they want they push it in another person name the time so in this case let's say they name 245 okay so I'm gonna press 245 I'm gonna send it okay it's already sent so please take a look at the watch and when they look at the watch of course it is 245 and I think this style of presentation opens for so many more possibilities that you can combine with many different types of routines so I think you guys are going to really really like this a lot um, what else um, currently is connecting with a official Pitata app also works with the memo pad um, all those sort of things hopefully we'll see more collaboration um, with this watch connecting with other apps um, that's on the market and that will make this even more powerful so that is still unknown but hopefully the integration will happen and you can also peak the time that they have spent now right now the app doesn't have a great way to peek at it yet hopefully they can improve and add some notification or some sort of things that you can secretly peek at the time but right now you know if they were to spin the time without looking and when they press in the button it will update the current time so right now you see it's red when I push in boom it's changed into right now into 1227 and that is the exact time on this on the app you can also calibrate um, the time so make sure that it runs smoothly and does this watch work like a normal watch yes you just have to make sure that you do have the real time button press on and the screen and this should run just like a normal watch so that's pretty much it um, I think I, I think I hopefully explain everything if you have any other questions you can drop down below in the comment and hopefully this video is helpful and help you make decision I honestly think this watch is one of the best watch on the market currently and mainly is because of the, the this function the fact that you can actually spin this and use it like a real watch I mean there's nothing to be found and I think you guys are going to be really really be impressed with this for the price for Kickstarter I think this is a great bargain so yeah let me know if you have any questions hopefully this video will help you bye bye